as the medical marijuana program has kind of advanced along in the state of Arizona, we've had quite a bit of attention in the Chino Valley area regarding some cultivation facilities to grow medical marijuana. They haven't proven to really help us manage the use in a way that best suits the town of Chino Valley. It's been pretty supportive overall in terms of what we're trying to do with these amendments to the Unified Development Ordinance. It's an outreach for a filler for veterans that are homeless and that have some hardship cases. And they're flexible. This is something that Congress imagined, and from at least from what we're hearing, that the results are good. So there's something maybe that Congress has a little bit of helping our veterans with. It's always nice to be anywhere that you're around people that want to take care of the guys that took care of us. We are a veteran community. Yes, we are. We just want to grow stronger and stronger and be more supportive. At the November meeting, the board reviewed the recommended 10-year plan and requested more information, specifically estimated cost. It is a 10-year plan, so it took a little time to put some costs together. The board wanted to see that before it took any final vote on the master plan itself. It depends on what they hear, what answers are available, what questions they have. But yes, it's on the agenda as an item to be discussed and if decided, voted upon. They could, of course, table it and look at it again in January. It's an informational sign that we would be partners with the Mayor Unified School District on. So the signage would be an electronic message board that would include information both for the Mayor Unified School District and for Yavapai college in that community. That's an item that relates to the 2000 bond plan that the electorate of Yavapai County passed. This is the last item to be completed from that bond issue. 